Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Puppies and Pooches on Parade here on August 26th, which is National Dog Day. So we lucked out with that. And also we lucked out we lucked out with some excellent weather as well. But I want to thank you all for coming. And we're going to start today's the, the, the Festival of Dogs on the Green. We're going to start it with Paula Colt. Who, sorry. Julie Colt, who is a professional dog trainer. And she's been doing this for over 30 years, I believe 34 years. One of the things that I do is I like the dogs to be able to walk by my side. Come on, Hutchie. He gets hot in the sun. Come on, buddy. So this takes a lot of repetition and a lot of reward-based training. And now we're going to start the whole procession of puppies. I'm going to hand it over to Jane. OK. Everybody clear the parade path. And that's the gravel path that comes down to the ring. We want to get everybody off that. I'm going to blow the whistle. You go back to your staging areas, and when you hear the second whistle, the parade starts. We apologize. We had a little technical difficulty. We won't have any music this year, but we'll do better next year. Here we go. Everybody ready? Well, she's a Havanese, and eight years old right now, and uh, the best dog we can have. And what Gracie, we're all set with Precious Petites, our first category, Precious Petites, oftentimes a crowd favorite. So, our first Precious Petite, being managed by Dixie Knoll, and the puppy is seven years old, it's a Havanese, its birthplace was New Hampshire, and the cute thing that Dixie would like us to know about this puppy is that, well, and Willa wrote this, his wife, my husband and I agree that Gigi is the absolute center of our lives. Our next precious petite is Finian. The owner is Jennifer Costello. He's five years old, a Jack Russell Terrier, birthplace Ireland. That's a candidate for furthest away, for sure. Finn's favorite foods are a piece of bacon. Okay, our next dog's name is Little Piper. The owner is Tony Hover, four years old, another Jack Russell Terrier, birthplace Massachusetts. All right, listen to this now. Piper has worked for three years as a trail ambassador at Marsh Billings, Rockville National Park, where he has been designated as a bark ranger with a special green scar. To Brownie, yes. Barbara Bell is the owner. She's four years old. That's Brownie, also a Jack, <laughs> Jack Russell Terrier from Chelmsford, Massachusetts. And people ask, is he a statue because he can sit and not make a move? Our next dog is Ruby. The owner is Elisa Fritzhan. Four years old, a mixed breed from Puerto Rico. So we have some dogs coming from quite a distance based on where they were born. She often bounces on all fours when running free through a field. Our next puppy is Gucci Girl. Jeremy Perkins is the owner, four months old. A French Bulldog and the birthplace is, I'm gonna let you tell me, Vermont. She is a rare lilac merle color with blue eyes. Our next puppy is Truman. Julie Johnst 
Johnston is the owner, 16 weeks old, a golden doodle, her birthplace is Maine, and here comes Elvis, AKA Truman. He is personality plus. Her next dog is Pluto. Missy Cunningham is the owner. This dog is 10 months old. The breed is Shih Tzu. The birthplace is Los Angeles, so she came from across the country. And how can you not love this cute little face? Our next dog is Bella from Caroline Lippert. Two years old, a petite doodle from Indiana. Bella is quick with a cuddle and loves to prance and dance. Her next puppy is Bo, Jennifer Volker. Seven years old, teddy bear. The first place is Missouri, and Bo has human-like facial expressions. Her next puppy is Thor. Jennifer Volker is the owner, two years old, a Shih Tzu. She's from New Hampshire. Thor loves to swim all year round, even in snowy weather. Wow. Our next puppy is Rudy Lee de Beauchamp, is the owner, 12 years old, a toy poodle. Very cute. From Atlanta, Georgia, and Rudy is a true Southern gentleman. Our next two are coming out together. The first dog is Roxy. The second dog is Manny. I don't know which one is Roxy. Okay. And the owner is Natalie Mikulich. They're 11 years, which is 11 years. Okay. And eight years. Our next precious petite is Evie. The owner. Listed on this sheet is Gary Horsman. <laughs> 16 weeks old, so she's new to our family. She, her birthplace was Pennsylvania, and she's a Shifu. And she's, and our last precious petite, her name is Ami. That is French for friend. The owner is Gary Horsman. She's seven years old. She is also a Shifu. Her birthplace is also Pennsylvania and she can count up to five, and she does it very, very perfectly, in my opinion, not everyone agrees, and she loves to play catch. The winner for the Precious Petites category is Brownie, the owner, Barbara Bell. Thank you all, you all competed very nicely. It's super to have you participate. for the Precious Petites category is Brownie, the owner, Barbara Bell. Thank you all, you all competed very nicely. It's super to have you participate. He's a seven-year-old little mixed breed, neuter male, of course, and he's available for adoption at Lucy McKenzie Humane Society. And we're having a great day at the Puppies and Pooches in Woodstock. Um, he insists upon being the only dog in the household, but he's more loved than you'll ever need. And he's doing great amongst all the other dogs here. Um, he probably would do best not living with cats, but he's wonderful with children and adults of all ages. So he's a fantastic dog and hopefully he catches the eye of somebody today or in the near future. Our first entry for the Mightiest Mid-Size category is Loki. Hi, Loki. She is being handled by Robin Powell. He, sorry. He is a corgi, he's seven years old. He was born in Pennsylvania. And Loki is just a social butterfly. Second is Maddie. This is Maddie. She is a standard poodle. She's beautiful. She is being handled by Gary Patterson. She's 11 years old. You look very good for 11 years old. Uh, she's born in Delaware. And Maddie acts like a puppy and is very social and loyal. 
Next, we have Penny. Oh, look at Penny with her ribbon. Penny has two handlers. Is it Charon? Charon? Cower? And her daughter, I assume, is handling Penny. Penny is a Bernie Doodle, and she is one year old, and she is absolutely adorable. Penny loves to bury socks in their garden. And here we have Laguna. Thank you. Here we have Laguna. I think Laguna might have been one of the first ones to show up this morning, so she was really excited about showing today. Laguna is being handled by Steve Hill and Hurley. Which one are you? You're Steve. Being handled by Steve Hill. Uh, she's two years, eight months. She's a Cocker Spaniel. She's very friendly. I can vouch for that. She was born in Savannah, Georgia. Next we have Chuck. Chuck is a golden retriever. Beautiful golden retriever. He's seven months old. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> he was born in Rochester, New York, and he's handled by Katie Stifler. And as all Goldens, people that have owned or do own Goldens know, they are loving, loving dogs. So here we have Rover. Rover is owned by our dear friends at Yankee Bookstore. And they have a, they have a booth right behind us. Rover is eight years old. He's a mixed breed. He was rescued from Puerto Rico. And I can't, is it VKs? I don't know how you say it. VKs. And Rover is a DNA tested as a village dog. I'm pretty sure you've heard of those. Um, village dogs are populations that live in and around human settlements, but don't typically have homes. They are identifiable through DNA testing and are basically mutts that have had such a stable, free, breeding population. They all have similar DNA, like a purebred, but more, much more genetically diverse. In Puerto Rico, he's called a Sato. Yeah. He's also just the best boy in the world, and we know that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yankee Bookshop. Last but not least, we have Lola being handled by Jeremy Perkins. She is one year and 10 months. She's a French Bulldog, a beautiful French Bulldog. Uh, they're from Quichi. She's a black and tan merle, beautiful coloring. Thank you, Jeremy. And we have a winner, Penny, being handled by Charon Cower. Could you come forward? She's the Bernie Doodle with a little ribbon. Wonderful! Everybody give her a hand. Well, I'm so excited for you. And this is a gift bag from our wonderful Woody's Mercantile. It's got a lot of cute little things in it, like a, oh my goodness, some, some little stuffies and... Uh... I think our next category is the Gentle Giant. These are the biggest dogs in the show, of course. Our first gentle giant. The dog's name is Bran Wen. Bran Wen. Jason Labs. Labis is the owner. <laughs> I'll get this right. The category is gentle giant. This this puppy is nine months old. The breed is Newfoundland. The birthplace is Vermont. Our next gentle giant is Magnus. Amelia Visque. Dixie is the handler. Our next gentle giant is Ajax. Tony, Tony Braca is the is the owner. This particular gentle giant is four years old. An Alaskan Malamute. The birthplace is Vermont. Ajax loves people. He's our next gentle giant, Stella. I'm wondering how how heavy is Stella? Is it worthwhile sharing? 125 pounds. That's a, certainly a big gentle giant. Peggy, Peggy Tonelli is the owner. The dog age is six and a half years. She's a Bernese Mountain Dog from the state of Maine. Stella. Our next dog is Luke. Deidre Rubin is the owner. I wanted you, De Deidre. No, okay. And what's your name? Niall and Satan. Auden. And the dog's age is 10 years. The dog is a Siberian Husky. The birthplace is New York. Luke is great with babies. Our next dog's name is Bailey Bear. 
The owner is Opal Evans. The dog's age is two years old. She's a golden retriever from Plymouth, Massachusetts, and he would rather play than eat, which is exceptional for a, for a golden retriever. Some dogs are hard to handle. This one wants to get on. So Sunny Rockstar is this dog's name. Molly Noonan is the owner. Oh, very nice, very polite. He's three years old, a golden retriever from Syracuse, New York, and Sonny is a very sweet boy. His name is Tad, walked by Kristen Brody, one and a half years old, a Labrador retriever from Vermont, and Tad is a therapy dog in training. Our next dog's name is Phoenix, and the owner is Heather Clark. The dog is seven years old. It is a coon hound from Vermont, and Phoenix loves snuggling with her cat, siblings, and hiking with her dog's best friend. Give it up for Phoenix and Heather. Thank you. You gotta love the bow tie. Winkle by Lee Gilligan. A gentle giant, of course, two and a half years old, a Bernie Doodle from Kentucky. Winkle is gentle, is a gentle and playful soul who adores being adored. Okay, we have a winner of this category. The judges have decided. The dog's name is Ajax by Tony, and the owner is Tony Bracca. Is Ajax still here? I hope so. Remember, Ajax loves people. He's super, super sociable, and his favorite activity is getting attention, and he's done so today. And the, the prize for this category is a $50 gift certificate from the Village Butcher. All right, can you tell me about these dogs, please? Oh, well, this is Taz, and this is Luna, Taz's baby, and this is their favorite day of the year. They're here to party. How old are they? Uh, Taz is nine, and Luna is six. And who chose the outfits? Oh, well, actually, we unfortunately had to recycle these outfits from last year because I ordered outfits and they took two months to show up and then it turned out that they were <laughs> tiny and they didn't fit at all. So, <laughs> yes, this is our, this is how we go through life. <laughs> Bellies in the air. <laughs> yeah, the face, oh my God. <laughs> the face. <laughs> okay, our next category is often one that gets a lot of attention. It is the fashionista category. How timely we have Barbie and Ken. Our little Barbie is Avita and Ken is Clay Reed. You probably know him. He's a well-known fella around town. Uh, Avita is one year old. She's a Pomeranian and she was born in East Rygate, Vermont. And Avita is a little bundle of L O B E. Next, we have Phoebe, is Miss Fashionista, and she's dressed up sweet. Is there a special theme to your costume? I'm the Goon Squad, and she's a cheerleader. Hey, and, what's and next, we have Pepper being handled by Caitlin Ames. And what is your costume, honey? They are fairies. They're mis Mr. and Mrs. Two Mrs. Um, Pepper is a pit bull mix. She was born in Texas. And next we have Maple. M Maple is being handled by Rachel Henny. She's seven years old. She is a Spin Spinone Italiano. She's born in New Hampshire, and um, Rachel tells us that Maple loves ice cream and is a trained service dog. Next, we have Lucy Wilkins Ellis as hot dog and mustard, being handled by Tess Malloy. Uh, this is, Lucy is a Labradoodle. She's eight years old. She's born in Massachusetts. She wears that hot dog very well. <laughs> um, Tess tells us that they joke that she could be a politician because of how she works a room, wandering from guest to guest, making sure that she gets her deserved amount of pets. 
Thank you so much, Lucy. Next we have Taz and Luna. Taz and Luna are American bullies and they have a soft spot in my heart because Taz is the mummy to my dog, Dozer. This is Ben Tabor and Derek Corey. Um, both of these dogs were born in Vermont. Taz is seven years old and Ben tells us that she said puppies and pooches is her favorite day of the year and she hopes everyone has and we have a winner for Miss Fashionista, Lucy Wilkins Ellis, a mustard and ketchup. Thank you. And what she wins is a gift certificate from Julie Pro Dog Training for one hour of training. <laughs> Bear, do you want your picture taken? Come here. Sit. The next gentle Sit. giant is Sit. Magnus. Amelia Vizke. Vizke. Good Vizke. Six years old. Very handsome Raider Beach Swiss Club. Mountain Dog yeah. from Slovakia. <laughs> Jack Russell. It is a Jack Russell. I'm trying to check him out. He had a suit coat before the first time. Yep, he's a suit coat. Jack Russells are either smooth coat or rough coat. And you can get both in one litter. Which is fun. We've had this. He's our second smooth coat. And the name? His name is Finian. And his personality? He's very, very friendly. He's pretty laid back. And he likes to run outside, but when he gets inside, Folks, he just wants want to get under the covers and sleep. Coffee and fresh baked. Mr. Bojest. Our first in this category is Dakota. The, the owner is Patricia Martell. This dog is eight years old, an English Springer Spaniel from Tennessee, and Dakota is the sweetest and loving boy. I feel so fortunately that he joined our family, and I think we can all feel that way. When we get a new little puppy to join our family, we all feel fortunate. Our next puppy, Bojess category, is Kevin. The owner is Jarrett Adams. He's 11 months old, so he's still a little pup. He's a Kavapu from Indiana, and Kevin's middle name is Bacon. Let's give it up for Kevin and Jared. Our next puppy is Teddy Kilaki. Liz Frazier is the owner. <laughs> the dog age is eight and a half years, a Labradoodle from California. <laughs> Teddy is Peggy Frazier's grand dog and the inspiration for Puppies and Pooches on Parade in 2015. He was the original parade mascot at six months old. And by the way, I just want to recognize Peggy Frazier. I'm sure she's here. I don't know exactly where she is. But, but Peggy was the one who was the, this is the brainchild of Peggy Frazier and it's become an annual event. And earlier, by the way, I'm saying maybe too much because it's not really to the dog, but I'll get back to it. Uh, we had considered this to be the ninth annual Puppies and Pooches. It's actually the eighth. And we may reward Jane next year that she might be able to do as the grandmaster of the Puppies and Pooches. Maybe she does get the ninth. Anyway, again, Teddy Kilaki, the owner of Liz Frazier, and the first mascot of this Puppies and Pooches on Parade. Thank you very much, Teddy and Liz Frazier. I'm very, very proud to announce the winner is Teddy Kalaki. Liz Frazier, the owner. Can we see Teddy again? Teddy. The prize. But, and by the way, th there is some discussion now whether or not losing the hat and then putting it back on could have contributed to this winning this category. Maybe so. Good showmanship. And the prize is a $50 gift certificate from the Yankee Bookshop. This is Mr. Manny. He is 11 years old. He is a Shisu Lasso Apso mix and he is mostly blind. I, um, I rescued him last December. He came from Houston and uh, we've had him for about nine months now. 
and it's my daughter Noelle, and uh, this is also our other one, Roxy, over here. She is turning eight, and she is a Shisu Bichon Frigé mix, and we rescued her almost exactly a year ago. Actually, coming here to this event last year inspired me to rescue her last year. So she is, we, she's known for her snaggle tooth. <laughs> Okay, we need all the winners to come down the parade and line up because we're going to choose the best in show. So we need Penny, who is the mightiest mid-sized winner. We need Brownie, who is the precious petite winner. Ajax, Gentle Giant, Lucy Wilkins, uh, Miss Fashionista. No, I'm sorry. And Teddy. We have some tough competition here today, don't you think, folks? Okay, we have a winner. For the best in show for Puppies and Pooches on Parade 2023, Penny. How about that? Woohoo! Penny is our little um, Bernie Doodle, I believe. Yes, with. Okay, and guess what? You win. You are gonna love this. We happen to have a new member of the Friends and she was kind enough to donate a gift certificate for a pet portrait. So you can sit with your dog and have her um, make a picture of it for you. So there you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. You just wanna fill this out. Okay. okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, yes, this is Brownie. He's a Jack Russell Terrier. He is four years old. We bought him from a breeder in Chelmsford, Mass. He likes to run, hike, bike, and what else? Canoe and go snow tubing. And he also likes to sit really still, like a statue. <laughs> okay, audience, we need your involvement here. This is for the fan favorite. So kind of get your clapping hand and your screaming voices ready. Here we go. Number one is hot dog and mustard. Let's hear it for hot dog and mustard. Good girl, Lucy. No. And for Ajax. And for Brownie. And for Teddy. And for Pepper. And for Aveda. And for Maple. And for Bailey Bear. Yeah. 
love them all. Okay, we have a winner, Stella. Stella. So what you won, but I don't have it with me today, is a doggy birthday cake from Splendid Bakes Bakery. Yeah, she will. Hi. Can you tell me about your Pitching. dog? He's come to the right um, place. She's Penny. She's from Ajax. Pennsylvania. And Tony Brock. She is Thank very you. cute. She loves socks. She loves, loves, loves socks. What kind of dog is that? She is a Bernadoodle. Ah, okay. And that's Gentle yep. Giant. Yeah. Stella. I'm wondering how, how heavy is Stella? Bernadoodle. Um, this is Sam. He's a beagle. Okay, uh, he came from Lucky Puppy Rescue. He's out of Florida. But they have a, a rescue site in Argyle, New York. Uh, and this is Alice. She's a foxhound. Um, and she came from Triangle Beagle Rescue <laughs> out of North Carolina. Um, and she's two and he's three. And what are they like in the, in, in your life? like? Um, they're both very active. We spend a lot of time at local dog parks um, uh, and on the Ottawa River Trail. Um, so we uh, spend a lot of time uh, yeah, hiking and hanging out with our dog friends. Um, so we will probably be at a dog park right after this so they can run around. And obviously love treats. <laughs> 